Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very 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 special video. The reason for that is I am going to talk about the core problem that most of the DevOps aspiring DevOps engineers are facing. What is the problem? So let's say you are an aspiring DevOps engineer coming from development to DevOps or you are coming from a non-native background and trying your luck with DevOps opportunities or you are a fresher. This is the common problem that people are asking me, people are posting in various forums. So I will try to answer this question as easy as possible. Now what is this problem? That is, Abhishek, there are so many tools in DevOps, how do I learn that? Or I am not able to crack the interviews because I don't know a specific tool or I don't know a specific uh, technology that these people are asking me. So first thing that you have to do to get rid of this problem or get over this problem is pick up a course whether you want to do a free course paid course whatever you would like to decide what do you want to take there are there is a lot of content on youtube and there are a lot of paid courses that are available choose a structured course what do i mean by that this course should have each and every technology but not, not the tools so if you are talking about container orchestration this course that you are picking up should talk about container orchestration with one tool but not about all the tools in the market so you don't have to learn about container orchestration with Kubernetes and Docker stuff. That will not lead you anywhere. Just learn one thing in a perfect way. And moreover, this course should have right from virtual machines, understanding about Linux, Git, Docker, Kubernetes, CI/CD, every technology that is available in the market so that you increase your opportunities of getting jobs in DevOps. Again, I'm talking about the technology but not about the tools. You have to keep this in your mind. And after that, Go to the breadth of each and every technology, after that go to the depth of a particular tool. For example, understand DevOps end to end because DevOps is basically about orchestrations, reducing the operations. So as a DevOps engineer, you should have a high level understanding of every technology that is part of DevOps. Only then you start with the depth of a particular tool. For example, you should learn the Git, you should learn Docker, you should learn Kubernetes with high level understanding. Then you can go in depth and understanding about the different concepts that are available in Kubernetes. If you just sit on Kubernetes and keep learning Kubernetes, you will take one year to learn Kubernetes and you will leave the rest of the tools. Don't go into that particular thing. So that's why it is very very important on the course structure that you are following. It is very important on the course that you have opted for. So this is a fundamental advice that I have and after this, don't you know, whenever you are giving an interview, I understand DevOps interviews are very overwhelming because you don't know which tool or you don't know which technology the interviewer is going to ask you. But you have to be firm on what you know. Let's say the interviewer is asking you about Azure, but you are very good with AWS. Then tell the interviewer that I understand the concept of cloud and I have implemented the concept using AWS. Given an opportunity, I can do this with Azure. But do not try to answer the things on Azure if you are not comfortable with Azure. I am very sure the interviewers will understand that you have knowledge on the cloud platform and given an opportunity you can learn Azure. Let's say the interviewer is not doing that, then that's okay. You can consult as a one bad day for you, one bad interview for you, but do not go into that uh, pothole or you know, do not go into the trap and try to learn everything that is available. And finally, the certifications part do the certifications once you learn everything and that way you can also uh, assess your knowledge that okay i am doing a certification on cloud what is the level of expertise that i have on cloud after that go to the certification so these are the three important things that i want to talk about today and i hope this information is very valuable and you will follow the advice that i have given thank you so much for watching the video if you have any comment any questions you can put that in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer take care everyone see you in the next video bye